They told us grandma has sepsis. Sepsis is a life-threatening organ dysfunction in the setting of infection. Normally when infections first begin, such as a UTI or a pneumonia, the symptoms that the person feels is usually limited to the organ. For example, in a UTI, there may be some burning urination, a frequency of urine, output pus in the urine, um, incomplete emptying, or even pain in the abdomen. In a pneumonia, there may be coughing, phlegm production, difficulty with breathing. But in sepsis, the infection begins to spread. Initially, the patient may feel a fever or low temperature such as hypothermia. They may or may not have a rise in their white blood cell count, which often happens more in bacterial infections. In sepsis, you now start having organ involvement. The lungs can no longer breathe on their own. They may need supplemental oxygen or even mechanical ventilation. The blood pressure may drop, needing medications to help raise the blood pressure, and the kidneys may start shutting down, precipitating a condition called acute kidney injury or failure. Sepsis has a high mortality rate. It has to be recognized immediately and the patient must go to the ER where they can get life-saving treatments in the form of IV fluids, IV antibiotics, and additional treatments. In rare cases, if a person's blood pressure drops in sepsis, they're going to need vasopressor support, which helps elevate their blood pressures. They'll have to be admitted to the ICU. Occasionally, I have also seen people be intubated or connected to a mechanical ventilator for life support respirations. The sepsis mortality can be high if there's life-threatening organ dysfunction and can be as high as 40 to 60%. Remember, mortality is death rate. And if you're older or more frail or if you know immunocompromised, you have a higher likelihood of mortality from sepsis, which is why presenting to the hospital is incredibly important. Tune in for more information about other medical conditions and diseases. Until next time.